Hi guys, and Canada here, and I know, I know, I know, I haven't uploaded in like, I think I'm behind on three videos, and for that I am super sorry. Been super busy here, it's approaching Christmas, and Ants Canada stuff has been busy. We are launching a new website, and we've got an array of new products, which I will show you towards the end of this video, so stay tuned through the whole video. And I've been loving my new formicarium, my new colony of Fedoli, really settling in here and really multiplying. There's a lot now. Um, and, uh, but... Got another video right here for you. I didn't go anywhere, I'm here. Um, and I've got a special video for you guys. I know a lot of you in North America and in Europe and throughout the Northern Hemisphere, you guys have winter. And so a lot of your ants are in hibernation right now. Speaking of hibernation, uh, I wanted to show you a cool species of ants, one of my favorites, um, and they're definitely uh, a unique species. They are different from other ants because they like the cold um, and they of course are Prenolepis imperis or however you want to say it. I used to say Prenolepis imperis or some people call it Prenolepis imperis um, and they're such a unique species that I really wanted to feature them here so uh, here we go. Here are the famous winter ants. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Prenolepis imperis the winter ant, also known as the false honeypot ants. Now these ants are really unique and they're called winter ants because they prefer lower temperatures, which is not really typical in the ant world. They actually even prefer near freezing temperatures, which is really interesting. And they're usually only active outside of the nest in early spring, during the winter, or in late fall. Now this footage was sent in from our good friend Caitlin. Thank you Caitlin for sending this footage in. This is her colony of Prenolepis imperis and right now as you can see the queen is right there and she's got some two really active workers and a lot of brood. Now although these workers look like they are really really active, Caitlin says that they're actually pretty lazy and during the day all they do is just kind of sit around with their antenna twitching. And this is something that I've heard from other Prenolepis imperis owners. They say that their ants really don't do anything, they just kind of sit around. Now in the summer, they're really inactive. They go through what's called aestivation, which is like hibernation, but, but in the heat instead of the cold. Now what makes these ants unique, and it also gives their name false honeypot ants, is they have repletes. And a replete is a worker that is used as a living storage. So their abdomens can really, really expand to accommodate a lot of liquid food and pre-digested food and they act as living storage for the entire colony. Here you can see the ants are feeding on some honey water. Now because these ants like the cold, what's great about this species is you can keep them in an air-conditioned room, which is usually not the case for ants because ants need warmth and they usually need a heating source and if they're placed in an air-conditioned room, usually the queen stops laying eggs or slows down and colonies usually don't do well in the cold, but these winter ants do really well in the cold and don't do well in the heat. I found winter ants to have a lot of personality. I love the way the workers seem to just glide across the ground. Caitlin says that her ants are very picky eaters. They will ignore a pre-crushed mealworm but will gladly feed from a piece of turkey. Here you can see the queen is tending to her brood and her nanitics are really busy. <laughs> Perhaps because Caitlin is filming them and so they're really active and alarmed right now. The queens of this species are the first to fly in the year. They usually fly around March or April. And in terms of nest conditions, their nests are similar to Laceus nests, I find. So if you're purchasing a formicarium from us for this species, I highly recommend you get the Laceus hybrid nest. They're also a very non-aggressive species. They're not the kind of species that will go out and start attacking food. They're more of a responsive species. So if there's an intruder in the nest, they'll work quickly at removing the brood and protecting the queen. In larger numbers, they can really subdue prey, but they generally are opportunists. In just a few weeks, more workers began to emerge. And a cool thing that Caitlin did here was she offered some food that was food colored with red. So you can see the red in the gasters of some of the workers and in the queen. Now these workers will continue to feed and some of them will be designated as official repletes of the colony. And their gasters will be able to grow really, really big. 
So if you want a colony that's pretty lazy, slow growing, non-aggressive, with a lot of personality, and doesn't mind your cold air-conditioned room, then these winter ants are for you. Be sure to look out for those queens at the beginning of the year, around March or April. And there you go, cool ants, right? Winter ants are so cool, um, and they're found throughout North America, and they are the first ants to fly. So you'll see them around spring, and sometimes they're flying even when there's snow on the ground, which is really, really strange, right? Um, and I love how you can keep them in an air-conditioned room, it's really different. Okay, and as promised, I wanted to show you some of the new products we've been working on that will be coming out at the store very soon, if not this week, probably next week. Um, we will be launching a new website, yay! Um, and a lot of changes, actually, um, one of which is our shipping. Um, you know, before we had a flat rate and a, just kind of like a set shipping, you couldn't choose whether it would be shipped priority or, you know, just the long-term shipping. Um, but now we've set up a new website where you can choose um, out of three or four different shipping methods, which is great because it means cheaper shipping for a lot of you guys, especially outside of North America. So this is great news for all of you Ants Canada supporters that are outside of US and Canada and Mexico. For you guys there, I know Europe and in Australia, I know you've been asking for a long time. This is our solution to cheaper shipping for you guys. And then also we've got some new products. You guys have been asking, where can we get test tubes? Well, finally, we are going to be selling test tubes. Um, and these are the kind that fit directly into our hybrid nests. So if you guys raise your queens in here, um, you can directly put them directly into the hybrid nest. Um, and they're very large test tubes. They're made of plastic. You can reuse them. They're great, love them. Um, and aside from that, I kind of spoiled the surprise earlier. We are also selling as part of a kit of supplies, these, which are stackable test tube holders. A lot of you guys have been asking, where can we get test tube holders? And well, we'll be selling them soon at the site. So they kind of look like this. You see the test tubes go in there. And as I mentioned, they are stackable. You can place them on top and they kind of sit firmly in place. Um, and the cool part about these is it also comes with a little port where you can stick a heating cable so you can heat your colonies. So basically you would heat one end of the colony. You don't want to heat the entire colony, right? Um, and it can, I like to heat the water side, but some people prefer to heat just the tip of the dry side. Also, we'll be releasing this cool gadget. You're like, what is that? Well, let me show you. If you guys are longtime followers of Ants Canada, you'll know that back in the day we used to sell these things called Ants Canada um, test tube portals. Well, this is kind of like the new form of test tube portal, but it does so much more than the old one. So, you know how you guys are like, okay, I want to feed my small colony, but how do I do it? Do I put food directly into the test tube and then the food kind of molds and then you gotta fish it out and all of that? Well, now you don't. You've got this. This is the new Ants Canada test tube portal. And what it is is, let me grab one of these test tubes to demonstrate what it does. So you've got your colony in here and they've got a few workers now, but they're still really young. You don't wanna move them into a formicarium. So then you connect them to one of these. You see, there's, there's some holes on this side that to which the test tube fits. Um, and then you place food directly in here. There's a screen mesh top here. What I would recommend is you put a barrier here, um, Vaseline or what, whatever you, it is you use, just so that they don't squeeze through that. And then it comes with a cover. So you place the food in here. The ants basically treat this like an outworld. So that's one way to use this. Another way and function to these test tube portals is, you know when you've got a moldy test tube and you gotta go through moving um, your colony into a new clean test tube and before you had to kind of tape this together and you know that you'd have to worry about them suffocating, letting air in there and it was just such a hassle. Well now you can let the ants move on their own by attaching the test tube portal together See, like so, and then, then just leave them. Let, let them discover the new test tube on their own. And they'll essentially discover this space and move when they're ready, which is great. You don't want to force a colony out if they're not ready. 
Um, so that's a great way and you don't have to worry about them. And again, they can use this as an upworld, which is perfect, you see. Um, and of course, you would have to plug these two with cotton when you're not using them. So you can attach four at a time here. Another way to use this test tube portal is um, for your colonies. Like, let's say you've got a big colony already. So what you would do is a tubing that leads to your nest or your outworld or whatever you want would connect directly into one of the holes, like so, nice and snug there. Um, and then you can basically put food here, but more importantly, you can put maybe a test tube of sugar water here, a, you know, a test tube of water here. Um, and that way, you don't have to have your test tubes lying inside your outworld, which, uh, you know, kind of looks unnatural. Uh, so they can treat this as kind of like a station for food. Um, and you can also use this for just tubing. No more making cross tubing like I used to back in the day where I'd have to bore a hole here and bore a hole here and then kind of fish it through. Now you can use this to connect several pieces of tubing together. And again, you can even add a test tube here for water. It can be kind of like a water stop for your ants. You can actually use this for a lot of things. Um, and in fact, if you don't have a formicarium, if you buy a few of these, you can connect them together and make this really big network of, you know, test tubes and tubes. Um, and that can be your formicarium. Really, really cool product that will be coming to the store soon. So look out for that. Um, and finally, we are also making these available. If you're like me, you like to make your own outworlds because it's a lot easier to just buy, you know, a plastic critter crawler because they're large. Um, and then bore a hole in it. Well, with this, your circles don't have to be perfect anymore. It can just be, you know, like big enough to stick this in, and then you place some silicone caulking in there into the hole, and it's the perfect size for our tubing that we sell. You see? So you don't have to worry about it being the perfect size, and that really was a problem for me. Um, and so there you have it, some new products, new website coming out, this new video. Thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. Be sure to check out our store. We've got a lot of stuff. Uh, ant keeping is a great hobby, as you know. And if you're looking for ant colonies, don't forget to check out our GAN project, where we have a lot of GAN farmers around the world who are selling ant colonies locally. See if we have one near you. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye. Hey, thanks guys for watching. Now, if you want to check out more videos on this channel, be sure to check out our latest video on our brand new line of genus tailored hybrid nests. Really cool formicariums for your ants that are specifically geared to house your species of ants, whatever they may be. And also check out our very cool Solenopsis geminata playlist. It's ant love forever, guys. Thanks.